The Reckoness Peninsula of Iceland is shaking. This is the place that we have the boundary between the two continents and two plates, Eurasia and Americas. And earthquakes are happening at the moment, concentrated in the area of the uh, Krisovic volcanic system here. Not in the source angle volcanic system, which we expect an eruption there. In Krisovic, we have the shattering and building of a magma reservoir. What we are looking for is to see the movement of the magma in the source angle volcanic system. When the, earthquake, when the magma moves, it cracks the ground, bubbling of it creates pressure and cracks the ground. And these pressures are picked up by the, our seismograms. At the moment, what we are picking up is what I call as a uh, caterpillar effect. That is where the um, road, making, road working mach machinery are actually working there. And that was started recently. It means the eruption is near. What we are seeing in the Geophys other geophysical data, which shows the uplift of the ground, is important. In the crystal week, we have some activity. In the sourcing at the moment, the spread of the magma is even toward the north and south, as you saw in that diagram. If we go into the GPS data, row uh, analysis of the vertical movement, we come to the conclusion, if we are following a pattern of the previous eruptions, it's quite possible that we will have an eruption by the end of the October, early November. Early means anything between 1st of the November to 10th of the November. That's the date that I think probably we will have an eruption based on the data that you can see here, the GPS extrapolated from that, the intersection of two lines, probably we will have an eruption. At the moment, we are seeing that usual pattern of the steam rising from the area of the fissure happening and that was where you saw it and it's quite possible the eruption is near pressure is building up a lot